Hi from Hampton Beach, everyone. I'm finally recording a vlog. My hair looks like a bit of a mess. It's all down. And I got a little bit of a tan today, so the white hair and the tan looks pretty cool. Anyway, beautiful ocean behind me. We have a gorgeous sunset back here. Really, really pretty sunset. But I kind of feel like having the ocean behind me. And it's uh, just me and a whole bunch of seagulls out here. I was waiting until most people kind of went in, but uh, oh my God, there's a really cool cloud out there. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> I had to uh, take a picture of a cool cloud. I'll drop it in over here. Anyway, um, so I'm just sitting here. This is my favorite time. Sunrise. Sunrise, sunset. My favorite time is to sit on the beach. Yesterday I got here about 12.30, just after 12.30. I'm watching the waves because the tide's coming in. It's getting closer and closer to me. So if I jump up and go running and screaming, I'll know why. There's a band playing at Bernie's Beach Bar. So I had to try to come down the beach and get away from the music a little bit. Oh my God, look, 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 water, water. Jump, 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 run, run, run. And I'm running. Holy crap, that came in fast. Okay, the water came up really fast. Not like really fast. I'm just gonna put my stuff up here and I'm going to stay away from the water for a minute. Also, I'm trying to stay away from people so I can do my vlog and people keep walking around. Okay, I am back. Holy crap, there's a whole bunch of, of uh, siren lights up there. So <laughs> the two girls back there just asked me if I could take a picture. That's why they were kind of following me around. I feel bad. I'm like, people keep coming in my shot. And my vlog. Oh, I have my Hampton Beach towel that says Nightmare Bliss on it that Miss Erica for Wicked Awesome got us towels last year. And we got goodie bags this year. I'm walking around in the sand looking for cool rocks. Ooh, that one's cool. Cool rocks. Everybody's wondering what's been going on because I haven't been online a lot or vlogging a lot or uploading a lot or reviewing anything or really doing much of anything. But honestly, things have been really weird. Just very busy at home. I've been in a good mood. I've been like doing good, but lots on my mind. Oh, I'm seeing pieces of seashells, sorry. I'm looking for shells because the tide's coming. <laughs> I need to pick one thing, either look for shells or vlog because I'm walking and do, and I'm walking and like looking for shells and I probably am obnoxious right now. I just want to kind of stand here um, last year I did a lot of like deep thoughts by the ocean. I don't want to go into too many deep thoughts. This is really cool. This is like my my very, very chilled out. Ooh, that's a cool rock. See, I keep doing this. <gasps> that one. I'm such a weirdo. So the waves are really pretty tonight. And the sky is gorgeous. I love when you almost can't tell where the sky ends and the water starts or begins or ends, however you want to say it. Yeah, I've just been, had a lot on my mind and losing Trudy, like every time we lose a dog or anything, it's not that, I don't even know that it's like a, I'm sad or I'm depressed or anything like that. It's more like, holy crap, look behind me. It's just a whole flock. Oh my God, there's more. There's another one. It's, it's not even that I'm depressed or anything. It's more just like getting used to new things and getting used to somebody being gone and things feeling different and stuff like that. It's everything feels different at the house. My routine with not having Trudy around, first Rusty not around to take care of and now Trudy not around to take care of. It's very odd and it feels really weird. It just gets like, it's like new, um, a new routine to get used to. So, my God, my hair looks absolutely ridiculous right now. Erica keeps saying it looks really cute and how it just kind of flops and goes everywhere. And I'm like, yeah, but not when it's like this. It's fine if it's like wavy or curly, but right now it doesn't know what it wants to do. It's just kind of all over the place. Um, I'm getting a contact buzz right now. Don't tell anyone. I think those guys over there might be smoking something. Um, let's not dox. Let's not let's not film them. That's not nice. 
Look at the sunset. Really pretty. Okay, I'm back. I keep like getting distracted by things. Uh, easily distracted by cool things in the beach um, on the water. So I'm actually ooh, walking, I'm trying to get the sand off my legs. <laughs> Look at my legs. There's sand all over them. Uh, the water this year, uh, Erica from Wicked Awesome hasn't even been in swimming. The water is only 49 degrees, and yes, I'm walking in it, but I love icy cold water, as you might know because of the uh, my video where I was walking in the snow barefoot. I love this. I mean, I could go, like, whoa, okay, got pretty wet on that one. <laughs> I could actually go swimming in this at night in the cold and absolutely love it. And Mom Dukes keeps saying she's freezing cold. And I'm like, oh my God, I'm always warm. I, I'm almost always warm. I'm very warm blooded. I've talked about that in the past. I just, I don't know. I just kind of throw heat and I'm a human space heater. Hold on, I gotta watch where I'm walking here. Oop. Okay, this, the, it's kind of like these little pools and the tide's coming in. I don't want to like fall in a, in a hole in the sand while I'm talking. Anyway. So I was saying, like, I'm just getting used to Trudy not being around, and it is weird. I wouldn't say, I'm not so much, like, sad or depressed or anything. I mean, she had a great life. I'm very at peace with the life we gave her. If I sound out of breath, I'm walking through the sand and in very icy cold water. So, yeah. <laughs> but we hit... We gave her such a great life, so I'm very at peace with all of that. It's just more like, it feels so weird to only have Eliza as like our only Italian Greyhound. You know, it's, it's just strange and she's the only one, so it feels really weird. You know, she's like the only one around and I mean, I don't, I, I don't have a problem with that or anything per se, it just feels really weird and really different because I'm not used to it. I'm used to having a house full of dogs. Sorry, my, my camera's all over the place. When you're trying to walk in the sand and you're walking in the water, it's just really, really weird. <laughs> oh my God, the two girls I took a picture of are swimming. I like them. They're my kind of people. They're swimming in this freezing cold water in bikinis. Good for them. Cold water's good for you. It's healthy. It's good for your circulation. Oh, I see a boat out there. So there's people all out walking at sunset. The sunset here is gorgeous. Like I said, it's one of just my favorite times to come out and walk. And it's super peaceful. And the only thing I, I have to say I don't love, I know people want to party and be at the bars and stuff, but like there's a reggae band. That's cool. It's beachy, whatever. But I just prefer the sound of the waves rather than the sound of bands. And I'm a musician and I love music, but when I'm at the ocean, I like the peace, I like the quiet. I love the sound of the ocean. So this is what I'm here to listen to, not a band. I don't know, but that's just me. I mean, to me, the, the ocean is music. You know, the bird sounds in the water, in the wind. To me, that's, it's something like, I can listen to music anytime. This is something I don't get to listen to all the time. So this is, you know, like, I want to listen to this. I want to listen to the ocean sounds. I don't want to listen to music. <laughs> if I don't listen to music, I'll do it at home. On a headset or whatever. You know, something like that. It's, I don't need to go to a bar and listen to music. Um, I will go to Paris and see a band, though. So <laughs> that's going to happen. But as far as going on vacations and seeing music, not so much. I like to really enjoy whatever the um the nature and whatever is going on in the environment where I am like here it happens to be the beach so obviously I'm listening to the water and the birds and the wind and all that stuff so I do miss like doing all my makeup and recording my reviews and everything and I promise you I am getting back to that I am coming back to doing that Things have just, oops, dropped my water bottle. Um, things are just crazy around the house with remodeling 
and the remodeling started like well it started before we lost Trudy but the weekend that our giant dumpster showed up was the same weekend that we had to let Trudy go so that was just really really messed up I'm sorry am I making you all woozy because I'm like moving the camera all over the place I need to find somewhere to sit down hold on The beach rake, you guys coming by soon. They're probably gonna kick us off, 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 off the beach soon. Actually, I don't remember what time you get kicked off the beach. There's still a lot of people out here walking around. It's really pretty out. There's some stars coming out. I could just sleep out here. I wish I could sleep on the beach. I really wanted to camp at the state park. You know, I was trying to think of somewhere where I could crash on Saturday night, but I don't know if the state park is full on Saturday night because I could sleep in my Jeep because I have the back set up. I have pillows and blankets and things and I can actually sleep in the back of my Jeep. I don't even need a tent. And there are bathhouses like right on the beach out here. There's a big house where you can take like showers and rinse all the sand off of you and everything. Yeah, I wouldn't even need to do that because I'll be sleeping in my Jeep. I don't know, I'm kind of thinking about it. Like, maybe I could just sleep out here because there are fireworks on Saturday night over the ocean. And they couldn't do it last year because of the little plovers on the beach. And I guess this year they can do it. So I really would love to see the fireworks out here. But everybody is leaving on Saturday. I don't think Nancy's leaving, but her family is coming in. So I'm thinking about possibly camping but I need to check at the state park and see if there's an open spot I mean all I have to do is park my jeep technically you know what I could probably just park my jeep somewhere and sleep in it <laughs> I can't imagine anyone really bother me here but I would love to stay at the state park because then <laughs> well you know there's pros and cons to that if people are playing music and partying and getting drunk it would be really loud and obnoxious and I just want to listen to the ocean hmm. I thought about going to Salem finding a hotel there, but I don't think I want to do that. I really kind of just want to get home tomorrow, but at the same time, I drove all the way here. I would love to see the fireworks out here. So I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. I guess you'll have to wait and see what I film next, right? <laughs> so anyway, I was saying, yeah, I really miss all the, all the stuff, like the filming and the reviews and everything. So I will be getting back to that. And I really used um, this time off the last like month or two has just been very spotty with recording it's really because i've been traveling so much i'm constantly going somewhere all year it's june and i've traveled like four or five times already so basically every four to six weeks i'm going somewhere when i get home from this trip in four weeks i'll be in france but then the good news for everybody who likes my channel <laughs> you are going to see a lot of content from France, fun stuff. Then when I get back, I am actually going to be home for, let's see, ooh, one, two, eight weeks. <laughs> I think after France, I'll be home for eight weeks, unless I squeeze another trip in in August somewhere. If I don't go anywhere in August, I'll be home for eight weeks straight. Oh, here comes the beach Zamboni, or as I called it, the Zambichi last year. It's the Zambichi. How do I get that job? I want that job. The beach Zamboni. I guess the only bad thing is like idiots like me who are walking along the beach. I feel bad now. They just did that part and I'm gonna go walk on it. Um, seeing if there's anywhere I could go sit. I'm getting close to the music though. Uh, we don't want that. Look how pretty it is here. Woo, band. Woo. Okay, he's coming back this way. So I'm gonna go up here. Then let me go find somewhere to record that's not on the beach. Wish me luck with that one. Okay, so last year I didn't really show you guys a lot of stuff other than there's Bernie's Beach Bar. We're staying right next to that. Um, there's the casino. We're going there. Look at the cool torches. And then Village Silversmith. 
amazing stones. There's just all these little shops all up and down the boardwalk that are very cool. You can see a little tiny boat way out there. See the light? Can I zoom in? There it is. Unless it's a lighthouse. No, it's not a lighthouse. It wouldn't be that far out. No, that's definitely a boat. Um, no moon tonight. But yeah, that's definitely a boat. Oh yeah, it's moving. That is most definitely a boat. Let me zoom way out. Ooh. Here comes the Zambichi again. So it's still light out here. It's dusk. It's, it's really pretty. So this is my favorite time of night at the beach. I'm going to get up super early and film the sunrise tomorrow morning. So I want that job. I want that job. That's so cool. It'd be so fun. How zen is that? It's like the most zen job. I might apply for that job. <laughs> okay. I look like a total mess. So sorry. I'm <laughs> hey, casino. Um, <laughs> big money, big money, big money, no whammies. So I promised Kim from Kim's a little of a lot that I'll go to the casino with her. We got our lucky stones, our lucky bracelets, our lucky everything. So we are going to go there. I hope I don't get copyright claim for this band playing music. I'll be very annoyed if I do. I'm going to, uh, I don't know if I can do it. I'm going to see if the sound sounds weird. That means that I had to cut the background noise out of this video. So I'm sorry if the sound quality is crap. I don't know what it's going to be when this video is done. I don't know how much of the background noise it's picking up. So I'm hoping not a lot because... That's one of the reasons I don't like recording near the condo because we're right around the corner. Literally, the building is right next to the beach bar. So the closer I am to that, the louder the music is. And if I go way down that way, you can't hear the music at all. But then I also have a very long walk back, which is fine because it's beautiful out. So tomorrow is supposed to be 77 and kind of cloudy, partly cloudy, sunny. It's supposed to be a beautiful day, though. So I'm looking forward to that. But yeah, I am going to be... I kind of used this time to really enjoy this few days away. I did cut my trip short this year to Hampton Beach because um, I'm going to Paris. And, you know, there's, it's, I've already been gone a lot. There's a lot of people walking behind me, so I'm kind of trying to just sit by my phone really close. Hello. Um, but I'm gone a lot, and the dogs are starting to just, they're, you would think they would get better every time that I went away and they get more used to it, but dude is actually getting worse. But I think everybody is also thrown into a weird situation because of um, Trudy being gone. Every time there's a big change in the house. So there's a big change in the house and then I keep going away on top of it. So, you know, we lost Trudy. And then very soon after that, I went to Michigan. And then I'm back, I've literally been back from like nine days and now I'm in Hampton Beach. So the dogs are getting a little like freaked out. And I feel bad because dude is howling nonstop. Uh, insert video here. Um, so that's my little dude, and he howls and cries because he is trying to get me to come home. I don't know if you knew this, but dogs howl to like signal each other and to let each other know where they are. The reason they howl and they call to their pack, you know, it does make me feel kind of sad that I'm not there to answer him and be like, dude, I'm here. Woo. Um, and if I go, we did FaceTime. I FaceTimed with my hubby. Uh oh, here comes the Zambichi. It's right behind me. Look, here comes. It's my dream job. Dude, how do I get that job? <laughs> I just think it'd be so fun. Is that weird? Would you want to do that job? I just think it'd be fun. He just drives back and forth and like smooths out the beach. I think I said this last year. I could never have that job because I'm such a perfectionist. I'm like Adrian Monk, if you know that TV show. I'm like OCD. I would have to have every line be perfect. And they'd be like, after, I'd be out there from like dusk till dawn trying to make every line perfect. And if somebody walked over it like I just did, oh, motorcycles. Lots of motorcycles around. I guess there's some bike thing going on. 
not here but somewhere around here there's a bike thing going on so um there have been a lot of motorcycles here this week uh oh, coming back coming back <gasps> doing job the coolest um yeah i don't know i would be out there like so much and i'd be like trying to make it perfect and somebody took like two steps over like well now i have to redo the whole thing so i don't know i i don't know i don't know that i'm chill enough to have that job i think i would have to take some like chill pills or something why does it you know it's so funny I'm in that thing and it looks like there's not even a person in it i was trying to see the person sitting inside of there and I don't see a person. I'm like, wouldn't that be weird if that thing was, like, self-driving? They could probably do that. But that would be dangerous because they really have to make sure they don't run over somebody walking on the beach. So there's still a lot of people walking out on the beach, which I'm surprised. They're not kicking anybody off. But it is still light enough out, I think. It's still You can still see. Although there is a lot of uh, artificial light behind me. But sun's pretty much down. I should probably get back to the ladies because they're probably wondering where I am. They're like, how long is this vlog that you're doing? Well, it's pretty long. Uh, no, not really. Okay, I'm gonna start. God, I'm so itchy. There's like sand everywhere. Is that, a oh, I thought that was a star. That's a plane. All right, so I'm gonna start walking back to the condo and uh, it's gonna get loud because of the band up there. Oh no, that is the band. I thought they might be taking a break and they might have just put music on, but that's still the band. Walking this way until I say goodbye. Look at this pretty light. Evening light. Twi no, not twilight. No, isn't it twilight? Is it twilight? At There's dusk, dawn, twilight. Um, I don't know. I love all the lights on the beach, though, on all these little businesses. They have the coolest lights. It's just really pretty, so... I'm just walking along the boardwalk. I'm actually gonna go sit on this bench. All these people left. Uh, extreme beachwear. That's a store I'm seeing over here. Uh, this place, Hampton Beach, has the best like cheapo beachwear. Like if you want little cover-ups and towels and okay, everything is like super reasonable. It's crazy how cheap everything is. I think the ladies want to go out to the bar tonight. I love drinking. I miss drinking. Currently not really drinking and. It is because I'm having a lot of problems with acid reflux and um, GERD. <laughs> GERD, totally. It's If you know what GERD is, G-E-R-D. It's a, a, a <laughs> digestive distress problem. But I have really bad acid reflux. I have really bad heartburn. Now I'm taking a medication for all of that because... Uh, you know, and that's what I hate is like, I hate when you're on a medication and then you have to take another medication for the side effects of the medication you're on. And so I'm kind of ready to like stop taking my antidepressants because that's what caused my GERD and that's what caused all my problems. So I really don't want to take them anymore, but now I'm debating, do I want to, when do I want to stop taking those? Because we're going to Paris. I don't want to be miserable in Paris or be like, I mean, there's no way I could be miserable in Paris. I'm going to be so happy in Paris. I'm going to be happy in the airport. I don't care how long the lines are. I don't care how long the wait to customs is. I'm going to be like, I'm going to Paris, bitches. I don't care. I'm, there's nothing that's going to ruin that. I mean, as long as I get on that plane and we get there, I'm going to be happy. So it's not that it's just, um, you know, I, I don't want to do any major changes before that trip, but at the same time, I want to be able to eat and drink and feel good. So I don't know what I want to do. I'm just kind of debating. So I am going to talk to my doctor on Monday when I get back and we are going to discuss and we're going to discuss what do I want to do? Do, um, do I want to, I think what I'm going to do is try to cut my, see if she'll cut my dose back in half because I did double it about a year ago and now I just don't think I need it anymore. I mean, even like when we lost Trudy, I was very at peace with it as, you know, it's never okay when you lose a pet, let's face it, but I was very at peace with it. I'm more upset seeing my husband upset. I just have the, I'm not gonna go into all my feelings about Trudy's leaving, but I think she knew it was time to go and she was ready to go. And that's all I can say about it. And I really feel 100% like that's true. And I feel like it was her time and she decided it was her time. She's like, I'm happy, I'm peaceful, I'm loved. I know how much my family loves me and I'm ready to go now. And I think she wasn't ready to go until she was completely, all her fear was taken away. We, we healed her 
you know, we were patient. We helped heal her and take away all her fears. And that's when she was like, okay, now I'm ready to move on to the next plane of whatever is out there. So that's why I'm so at peace with it. Because I feel like we helped her get there. Okay, here comes the guy again. Or the self-driving him. What is it? I don't know. It's so... Oh, no, there is a person in there. Okay, hey, dude. How do I get that job? You've been, were you here last year? How did you get this job? How much does it pay? Oh, God, there's sand all over my legs. It's so itchy. I'm itching my legs with my feet. It's like the sand is making me... So, am I allergic to sand, you guys? I am so itchy right now from the sand. It's very weird. I don't remember that happening last year. Wow, that tide really came in far. I'm all over the place. Anyway, I need to try to handle this problem with my GERD because I can't deal with it anymore. I've never had it my whole life. It only started when I went on Effexor, which is the antidepressant I'm on. And it did help me get through losing my mom and all that. But now that it's, now that I've gotten through all that and I've learned to deal with things so much better and I'm in such a different place now than I was like three years ago when I went on them and things are so different. Life is so different. Survived a lot of things, survived a lot of losses. I feel so much stronger now and better, and I don't feel like I'm reliant on antidepressants. In fact, I feel like they're more of a crutch now and more of like a detriment than they are helping me. And that's when I feel like, you know, you know it's time to go off of them. And my doctor knows I never wanted to stay on them forever. And she said, you just let me know when you want to go off of them and we'll work on it. So I think I am going to talk to her on Monday and I'm going to ask her opinion because I very much trust her opinion. I'm going to start walking back. In general, I'm in like a really good place. I'm very happy. Things are great. So just because you haven't seen me, like I'm okay. I'm great. Things are, and I'm not just saying that. I really am happy. Things are wonderful. Life with the hubby is wonderful. Just we're like two absolute fools in love. And we can't wait to go to Paris together. Very excited about all the things that are going on at the house and all the renovations. And other than the cost of it is ridiculous and astronomical. And if I'm gonna focus, sorry, it might be focusing back there. We're going to Paris in the middle of July, middle to end of July, and it's gonna be very hot there. So, and I don't wanna travel with pallets. So I want to do, test all of these multitasker things like that, that are like the Kaja, you know, bento boxes. Also you take those, you don't have to take brushes. Although I read, or not read, Laura Lee did a video from the biggest Sephora in the world, and I guess it's in Paris. So I do have to go to the biggest Sephora in the world in Paris. My husband, I'll have to go when he's sleeping or something. I'll have to get him really drunk on French wine. He can be hungover, then I can go to that Sephora. <laughs> because he's not going to want to deal with me in that giant Sephora. He's going to be like, this is a nightmare. <laughs> this is nightmare. A nightmare of nightmare in Sephora. Okay, it's getting very loud here. So I'm going to go, but thanks for watching. I will have more soon, so come back. Look at this amazing light. Woo! Bye from Hampton Beach. I will see you soon. Ready? Hampton Beach crew. Cheers. 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 What are you drinking? Jason. Oh, it tastes like, yeah. She said she wasn't going to drink. It burns. I think it burns. It is 5.20 in the morning. I'm walking down to the ocean for the last time. And I remembered today that I want to take some sand home from the beach, which is kind of cool. Look, it's five in the morning. There's already people out here. Glad I'm not the only one. So I'm gonna go for a walk down here. Go say goodbye to the Atlantic. I can't believe I have to go. There's not really a sunrise because it's so overcast. It's supposed to rain all day today. So I'm gonna go walk down. <laughs> Walking down to the beach, to the ocean for the last time. Oh, I wish I could live on the ocean. I love where I live, but Man, I'd love to live on the ocean. It's kind of nice walking on the sand right now because it rained last night. So it's a little bit wetter. Definitely easier to walk on. Have to get on the road because everybody's leaving by 11, but I'm leaving early because it's the weekend. So I want to avoid weekend traffic. And I'm going to home, see my dogs and my hubby, and I pretty much get to spend all weekend with him. So this is a good week.
If you hear a crinkly noise, I'm carrying a bag down here. Ah, oh, it's very wet. Look at this. Lots of flotsam and jetsam out here, so it really did rain a lot. Looks like the tide is still out. It's weird. Nobody's that way. Okay, I can maybe do a nice little walk out here and still be on the road really early. I think I'm gonna do beach walk. Last beach walk. coming in though. It's coming in fast. She coming in fast. I'm just going to do a quick walk. It's a me kind of day. Look at this. My husband would love this if he was here. And nobody's out here. You know, this is actually good. It just kind of is energizing walking out here. It's nice doing a quick beach walk. Interestingly, this year, no sand dollars out here. I have, I have yet to see a sand dollar, which is really odd. I guess I'm not surprised. I'm saying the water is so cold this year, and it's way colder here than last year. Now, I'm going to walk up here because see how, look how far this comes in. Ooh, we're going to walk up here through the water, even though it's chilly. I love walking through this. It's so cool. It's so fun walking through these little things where the tide comes in and out, these little kind of tide pools. There's one up there. Well, good morning. Look who I found out here on the beach. Hey, buddy. Um, so the seagulls are gonna eat you. We should probably get you out of here. Don't you think that's a good idea? The ocean's way down there. I'm about to save this crab. talked about this last year, but this is how far the tide goes out. These rocks will be almost completely underwater. I think just the tops of them stick out a little bit when the tide comes in. So if you go back to a year ago, maybe I'll put a card. I think what I'll do is I'll put the playlist at the end of this video, but if you go back a year, you'll see me spending a lot more time vlogging and walking on the beach because I was here like seven days or something. Um, I was very excited, so I vlogged a lot. This time I was only here three days, so I just kind of enjoyed time with everyone. I know I haven't vlogged and recorded a lot. I took a bunch of pictures, so I will put them at the end of this. Kind of like a little photo montage kind of thing. This time was all about spending time with the people who are here. And next year I'll probably be out for the whole week and I will vlog a lot more. But what's really cool is when the tide comes in, this is all underwater. And you can tell now it's starting to come in. Tide's coming in. And last year I was like, oh my God, I gotta get, I walked all the way down. Actually, I went to that point and I think the tide was out. Um, you see all the, oh, uh, let's zoom in. See there's rocks out there too, those big rocks. And all the big rocks out there, those will all be underwater when the tide comes in. I love tides. I just think it's fascinating. Ain't nature cool and scary sometimes because when this all comes in, you can see it's definitely coming in farther every time as I'm walking. My little fuzz ball is on my purse that Erica gave me. We got goodie bags. I will unbag my goodie bag when I get home. But, oh, there's my footy prints.
so I'm out here walking in the, I have a jacket on. It's quite chilly. I'm not sure what the temp is. I'll put it up in a little card here in the corner. It's gotta be 50 something though. I mean, it's gotta be like 50s. Very, I don't even think it's low 60s. It might be. If I had to guess, I'd say maybe it's 55-ish or something. Just walking around looking. Okay, I did find, oh, I have it right here. One single sand dollar. Watch my videos from last year. I found a bazillion sand dollars. So this year there are literally like none. I'm just saying, I think the reason is that if the water is so cold, the water temperature is 49. So the water's super cold. And I just think it's like too early or something where the water's too cold. I'm gonna get in the car. I should be on the road by six, which means I should get home by at the very latest, like noon, which is great. But it is gonna rain today. You can tell. Sorry for the blurriness and all. So I'm trying to walk. So this was a way too short for me i really could use maybe two more days here if i'm being totally honest i could have used two more days at the beach um but it was a great trip i'm just thankful for any trip i know most people can't even get out to do as much stuff as i'm doing and traveling so believe me i am very very grateful i love these little channels that float in and out when the tide goes in and out I can't believe this year I found one sand dollar and that's it. Well, a dollar and a half. Haha. <laughs> the tide's coming in. I'm going to walk back. Like I said, I wish I could stay longer. Wish I had two more days here, but I'm just so grateful for any time that I get to come and see this and have my feet in the water. <laughs> Spend time just enjoying the beach and friends and doing stuff, getting out of the house. My dogs really miss me this time. You would think with me traveling more, they would be more used to it and they're less used to it. I think I talked about that in my other crazy vlog that I did where I was just all over the place at sunset. Sorry I didn't do all the sunrise sunset vlogs, but honestly, the weather has been really sketchy here next week when we're not here is when all the weather is finally going to be really great so that kind of sucks for everyone but not really because i mean we still all got to see each other and hang out like i said anytime we get to do this you know it's, we're lucky to have cool friends who can all get together somewhere like this and when we can travel and get here it's just really amazing good time in a beautiful place so, I'm gonna miss the sound of this ocean. Sorry, there's just no sound machine or anything that's the same. It's different when you're in here in person and you can actually walk by the waves and sit by them and listen to them. Try not to shake my camera, but I am walking on sand barefoot, so <laughs> sorry about that. I was telling everyone, well, they kind of know, but anyone new here, because I know I have a lot of new people since last year, my favorite times to be on the beach are this time, sunrise, sunset. My favorite times to walk on the beach and be on the ocean, because all the tourists aren't out. It's just quiet. Quiet, it's pretty.
here at Hampton Beach. I don't think I will be back before next year, but maybe. And I just want to say adieu. And the next time I'm on a travel vlog, it will be in Paris. So I left a little adieu on the beach. When the tide comes in, it'll wash away. So very zen of me, right? Bye, ocean. Bye, everybody. I'm going to get on the road. And I will see you back in Pennsylvania. Bernie's is right up there on my way home. Don't forget to like and subscribe and check out my Hampton Beach vlog from last year because there's a lot more on that if you like the beach. And I, I mean, it was a lot hotter than last year. <laughs> it was nice. There were hermit crabs. There was so much fun. So make sure you check some of those out. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye from the Atlantic, Hampton Beach, New Hampshire. I think it's a beautiful day. This is my kind of weather. I'd sit out here all day and read a book if I could. Bye.
Thank you.